Hey everybody, today we're doing another chi-squared test for homogeneity. This time we're going to be comparing samples of continuous random variables rather than categorical ones. So here's a couple of samples of size 20 and we'd like to know whether these samples are actually coming from one population or whether they are coming from groups that are distinct in some way. To say that differently, we're testing the null hypothesis that the random variable in each case has the same CDF, the same distribution function. Of course, we want to use a chi-squared test, and so the really obvious thing to do is to bin the data. And then once we have it binned, we've got categories, and we can directly apply a chi-squared test for homogeneity. So the only really real question here is how we're going to bin that data. So the most direct thing to do is to pool all the data. So in this case, we'll have a sample total sample size of 40, and then compute k equals quant k equal quantiles, where k is the number of bins. So if we do four bins, we want the first quartile, the first quartile, the second quartile, third quartile, and fourth quartile. Here I've done it in R, um, and then once we've got that, we can go through and just literally count how many observations from each group fall into each of those categories. We can do that by hand in this case, or using technology. Here's what we get. For example, in group A, we have nine observations that were less than 49.75 six that were between 49.75 and 69.50, and so on. Okay, so now that we've got categorical variables, we can just apply our chi-squared test. We can compute that test statistic. Um, the expected cell counts are always going to be five because um, we have chosen our cutoffs for these bins to be even, and if the null hypothesis is true, then um, these cutoffs should divide each of the categories into even pieces. So let's go ahead and compute our chi-squared statistic. We take observed minus expected, square it, divide by expected for each one of these bins, add all those up to get a total chi-squared statistic. Here we get 12. Finally, we have to talk about degrees of freedom. In this case, we started with um, eight cells in our table but those are from two independent random samples. So we start with six degrees of freedom. We also estimated three parameters from our data, one for every column except the last, which can be deduced from the other ones. So overall, we get eight minus two minus another three degrees of freedom, so total of three. And then we compute our p-value the same way as always. We take the probability of randomly getting a chi-squared value greater than or equal to the one we got, in that chi-squared distribution, chi-squared of 3. In this case, we get 0 0.0074. By any reasonable standard that is a small p-value, we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that these two data sets are drawn from different distributions.